Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to get to the beautiful island of Cozumel from both Cancun Airport and also from Playa del Carmen. In a couple of segments in the video I'm going to try and walk you through this um, made up over a trip from Cancun Airport into Playa del Carmen using the ADO bus and then using the ferries from Playa del Carmen over into Cozumel and I'll also show you how to get back to Cancun Airport again from Cozumel. So I'm standing on the rooftop of the Hotel Plaza Cozumel which is actually just across the street from the passenger ferry terminal so if we take a look back here you'll actually be able to see that uh, this is the uh, passenger ferries and uh, notice on the left hand side the orange ferries are the wind jets um, those ferries are a little bit older than the ones on the right hand side which are the yellow ones which are the ultramar um, really there's not much difference in terms of um, comfort and speed they they both get here in the same amount of time okay so now that i've completed the overview let's get started you may want to check the bus schedules before you arrive so that you have some information i'm going to do a screen share on here and show you you want to go to www.ado.com.mx and then from there you're going to be able to take a look on the website and uh, enter your origin which in this case would be Cancun uh, Airport and then your destination which would be Playa del Carmen Touristica and then just enter your date and then just select to enter and then review the bus schedules and see which one you prefer and so you can see in here from the results that the earliest departure we have is at 0815 and then the uh, latest departure we have is from at uh, 2235 so um, on average the buses take about an hour and 10 minutes to get from the airport to Playa del Carmen. Uh, there is typically one stop uh, in between from uh, the airport um, to Playa del Carmen and that's about 10 minutes after you start the drive which is a, um, a, a main bus terminal uh, at Cancun which it only stops there for maybe uh, five minutes. I'm going to take you from the beginning which is from Cancun Airport and we're going to travel from Cancun Airport to Playa del Carmen on the ADO bus. As you can see, as we walk out through here, walk through these doors, then on the left hand side here, we see here is where you will buy your ticket. So you just look for the ADO stand on here, and then you can get your ticket. Okay, so you can see here, this is my bus ticket um, for ADO. And you can see that um, uh, printed on the ticket here is from Cancun Terminal 2. Um, so when you come out of that international arrival section, you can buy your ticket from the ADO um, desk. <coughs> uh, and you'll go from Cancun Terminal 2 and you go to Playa del Carmen Turistica. So there are two um, uh, bus stations inside Playa del Carmen. Uh, Turistica is the one that is downtown on the main drag. So that's the main one that you would want to go to. And uh, once you purchase your ticket, it will um, uh, show you the, uh, the time of departure here, which in this case, it was uh, 10.30 in the evening. And um, the, uh, the price of the ticket was uh, 216 pesos. So uh, the seat number also is uh, printed on here. So when you get on the bus, um, just look for your seat number. And that is this uh, asiento here. So, um, uh, that's your ticket. And come through here. On your right hand side, you see that Margaritaville. And then down through here, over to the left. And you can see that bus platform where it says bus platform one. So you see you come up through, see where it says here. Bus platform one.
then around here this is where you see the buses all lined up ready to go sometimes you can actually buy your ticket here as well at this little booth so uh, as you can see here it's uh, pretty nice clean buses okay folks so here we are on uh, 10th avenue and juarez so you can see so on 10th avenue there avenue benito juarez and we're going to take a walk down here you notice uh, all of those taxis there on the right hand side so they actually pull up here and uh, pick up passengers and then just turn straight back around now this is right next to the ADO bus station downtown they actually call it uh, ADO Turistico uh, for the tourists so this is traditionally where the uh, most of the buses run um, certainly for um, the uh, ADO down to uh, Cancun Airport so this is where they all come in but we're actually gonna go around the other side now and we're gonna take a look got some uh, cheeky little chaps there so we're just gonna walk to the front of the station you got the uh, baggage boys here as well so again these guys will uh, take your luggage from the taxi stand which is in the middle of uh, Playa del Carmen in the center they'll take your luggage uh, off the taxi and take you down to the passenger ferry but here right now just going to show you in the town so remember here that's the ADO bus terminal so we're actually going to walk out now I'm going to show you the walk from the um, from the ADO bus terminal down to the um, uh, ferry terminal in Playa okay so as we exit the ADO bus terminal now we're going to spin around and we're going to now walk through the uh, the main square up to this point it's really nice and smooth but once you get by here it's a little crazy with this here this surface right here will absolutely take out your wheels um, I didn't actually notice there is a section by here that is still smooth so you could potentially still come down this way and again as you walk through notice there right hand side that stuff there rough as hell you don't want to run your bags on that left side here nice and smooth to go down right hand side ultra left hand side wind jet and then just walk through this section here and then you'd uh, go up and uh, buy a ticket there are ticket touts on here as well as you just heard but uh, personally I, I don't know what the deal is I just buy them straight from here that way I'm getting them at the cost it's supposed to be in before we start the boarding process and showing you how to, how to buy the ticket and go up into the ferry terminal I do want to show you an alternative way to walk down towards the ferry and that is rather than making a right and walking towards the shopping mall, what you could actually do is cut across through the uh, the central courtyard um, in kind of a diagonal direction. So we're going to take a quick walk through there. So we're going to rewind a little bit, get back to the uh, ADO uh, Touristica bus terminal and going to take a quick walk through, see if I can speed this up a little bit. And I'll show you um, how you would uh, approach it from the other direction. And we're going to now walk through the uh, the main square. Now notice as we approach here, that's the uh, ferry terminal here now on your uh, on our left hand side, and we see again the orange kiosk here 
you'll have to ignore the uh, the time on the wind jet on there right now that's obviously um, not been updated since yesterday right here so you can see that uh, their next ferry is at uh, 1700 if you guys can't tell military time that's actually 5 p.m so that's where you would buy your ticket to so come over here and you'd line up in this section and you'd roll down just come down here and purchase your tickets i'm just going to walk up here look at the uh schedules now and again those schedules um are on the uh group facebook pages so ultramar has a facebook page and so does uh windjet so uh, you can take a look at the timings for your ferry as you go across. I'll try and show you that in the link later on. Okay, so I'm going to show you the websites to review the schedules for both of the ferry companies here. So Windjet and also Ultramar. So first up, let's take a look at Windjet. If you go to www.windjet.mx and then forward slash ENG forward slash if you require the English speaking. And then once you've uh, gone there, the website will appear. And uh, from here, what you want to take a look at at the very top here, you can see view ferry schedules. So select that link and then this will show you the schedules. Now notice on this particular site here, uh, you have the dates in the lower section where you can see um, at this point August 28th uh, Saturday is what is showing up so on the left hand side is from Cozumel to Playa del Carmen for the scheduling so 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 9 a.m. etc and then on the right hand side you can see from Playa del Carmen to Cozumel would be 8 a.m. 9 a.m., 10 a.m., etc. From the 1st of September, the timetables are not available. So it really only gives you a couple of days. And uh, I would not recommend buying your tickets on the website here just because you've no idea if your flight's going to be on time or if there's going to be any delays or issues. It's just as easy to go and purchase the tickets um, once, once you're at the, uh, the terminal there. And next up is the Ultramar Ferry Schedules. So for here, you will go to www.ultramarferry.com forward slash en. And once you arrive on that website, this one is actually a little uh, more difficult to get to initially. So once you're on the site, you'll see on the uh, left hand side there, the, the three bars on the top left. So if you select that and then um, a new menu will appear. So from there you would select routes and departures. And then here then you would see the, uh, the routes and departures show up. You need to scroll down a little bit um, in here. And then you want to look for your route, which would be Playa del Carmen dash Cozumel. Now, um, again, notice in here, that um, there is a an arrow pointing to the left and an arrow pointing to the right between Playa del Carmen and Cozumel, which means the directions of the ferries. Um, so to the right hand side, departing from, you want to select that drop down box there. And once you select the drop down box, it will actually show you the ferry schedules. So again, on the timetable, left hand side, for Ultramar, it shows you from Playa del Carmen to Cozumel, and then uh, on the right hand side, from Cozumel to Playa del Carmen. And again, same here, I wouldn't uh, go ahead and purchase these tickets on the website, I'd just wait until I got to the ticket booth. So, this is uh, how you can check the schedules uh, from the comfort of your home or hotel room, etc., before you plan your journey. Okay, so once you've purchased your ferry ticket here, um, the uh, the ferry ticket date here is for the, uh, this case it was the 3rd of August, and uh, it was 250 uh, Mexican pesos in there, 
and um, it uh, you you can pretty much just sit anywhere inside that Ultramar, obviously aside from the first class. So uh, once you purchase that ticket, again, 250 pesos. This is to take me from uh, Playa del Carmen uh, to Cozumel on here, as you can see on the ticket. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to walk up into the other section where um, where all the passengers wait. So once you purchase your ticket, you can walk through. So we're going to walk through here now. We're going to go upstairs. Got the escalator here. We got a little guy here for security doing the uh, doing the bags. Luckily, I don't have any bags on me right now, so I'm just going to go through here. And uh, if you get in, you'll line up in here. So next ferry, I think uh, we showed at 5:30, so this is pretty dead right now. You do have some people lining up, but uh, this is where. You would actually come in, line up, there's some seats here if you get here early enough. And then uh, you just roll through. I'm going to take you around the other side here so you can see where the um, pier is. So you can see there. Once you play through, You'll get your ticket scanned at the beginning of this ramp in front of you and then uh, once you've had your ticket scanned they let everyone through you'll walk through down that ramp down onto your ferry super easy real easy guys so you can see on the top of these ultramar ferries uh, they've got some uh, seating on the front deck over there and then you can also see up on the uh, top deck they've got a whole bunch of seating on the top deck you can barely see that and then um, mid deck level more seating and then uh, the area that I prefer is uh, downstairs inside in the air conditioned uh, units and then there's uh, two ramps over here on the middle and on the back broken no work okay as we walk through now you can see this is the lowest deck super comfortable it's even a uh, dining area here where you can get beers and drinks Got some uh, desk area options in front of us and uh, over here you have the uh, front deck but uh, I believe the front deck might even be closed at this point go in in case of emergency Looks like the uh, top deck there is closed. Take you through a quick walk upstairs. I'm just going to show you the upper decks here. In the back. There's uh, an upper deck and typically they'll put like uh, some live music here for your first crossing. Yeah, it takes them probably like 20 minutes to set up. And then uh, play for 20 minutes and then that's it. And then up to the upper deck. Again. Not sure with all the sun that I've had that I want to be uh, up here getting more sun it's just a little too much for me as you can see lots of space so not too many people getting on the boat okay you can get off All right, I'm going to go where I belong, into the uh, air-conditioned space. 
I've had far too much sun myself this week. So this is the Ultramar Ferry. It's uh, really nice and clean. myself a nice little seat and relax right folks so that's it um, time now is uh, 1433 you see that so the crossing is probably going to take about 45 minutes here you can see we're just about to pull off one thing that I noticed here is really really cool um, is the outlets below we see on the ultramar ferries so if you look here sections here USB charge G cable and that and also we also have power underneath the tables here don't want to drive up anyone's skirts here and probably get a punch in the face for that but so anyway here we go 1434, probably about 45 minute crossing. crazy I always thought this was a 45 minute crossing or so okay so I'm in the area now once we've uh, arrived in Cozumel from uh, Playa del Carmen so it's pretty quiet right now um, because obviously there's no uh, arrivals at the moment i'm just uh, doing a little cheating and getting ahead of the game so when you exit here it's going to be a lot of people these booths will be filled with ticket touts to try and sell you uh, pretty much everything except your mother or oh, hell maybe even your mother so uh you walk through here and uh you'll exit the um ferry terminal okay so as we uh, exit now, you can see sometimes when you've got excursions booked immediately early in the morning, you can actually have them meet you at these docks right here. I know that we've seen diving companies um, in the mornings come over and meet their passengers um, or their clients rather um, at these docks once the ferry docks in and then they uh, just pick them up. And So again, walking through here, Lots of excursions that you can book here if you desire. As you walk through here, you can see right in front of me now is the main town square. And then uh, as we exit out of the terminal, we'll actually see a lot of taxis are uh, staged getting ready for, for the next ferry arrival. It's pretty busy here. Obviously, make sure you guys are uh, masked up. And uh, typically, like I said, left-hand side there, taxis. And uh, beautiful little um, statue there. I always love that thing. And coming over, we are here, and uh, here we are. Welcome to the island of Cozumel. There you go. It's pretty easy, huh? Okay, so we're going to do this again now, except we are going to travel from Cozumel, take the ferry over to Playa del Carmen, and then we're going to go to the ADO bus terminal in Playa del Carmen at the Touristica bus terminal, and then we're going to take the ADO bus from uh, there going to Cancun Airport Terminal 3 for the departures and uh, along the way talk to you about a few things and also 
uh, give you a last bit of advice at the very end of the video, just telling you the best place to get your money from when you are in Playa del Carbon. Avoiding the uh, ATM stands that are just um, outside on the main streets, which are very expensive. So as you can see here from uh, Cozumel, you can see the ferries on the right hand side here. Those are the Ultramar ferries. And then uh, you can see around here, plenty of taxis right outside the terminal here, uh, the passenger terminal for the ferries. So you'll notice here the uh, Windjet ferries on the left hand side and the Ultramar ferries on the right hand side. I'm standing just across the main road from the um, passenger ferry terminal here in Cozumel. And if I turn around, you'll see right behind me here is the, uh, the main town area. This is the main square. Um, plenty of dining options and such in here, but we're not going to focus on that too much right now. We're just going to walk straight across. Um, and we're going to take a look and look at the um, process of uh, buying yourself a ticket. So you'll notice as I approach that uh, on the left hand side, you have a yellow booth and on the right hand side, you have the orange booth. Mm. of 2.30 which is the next departure point. So I'm not sure, too sure how these folks would feel about being filmed so what I am going to do I'm just going to show you the uh, the times on the ferries. Now there's two areas that you can actually find the times. Um, one of them is on the, the Facebook um, group site for these guys. And you can see here they've got a fairly regular schedule right now so we're just going to go ahead and buy a ticket and then um, take a cross. Okay, so now I've actually just uh, purchased a ferry ticket. That was 250 pesos, and there's my ticket there, so it's a one-way crossing. Now we're gonna take a walk over, and uh, we're gonna have a look just inside the actual ferry terminal uh, for a moment, and then see what the lines are. So here you can see the, uh, the Ultramar ferries again, and then the Windjet ferries here on this side. And then as you approach through, there is a security station where you'll actually have your bag scanned. And um, then we uh, will go through. But I'm not going to record this, but I'm just going to go through there a second. Okay, so now I've cleared through the security section. We're just going to spin around. We're going to go up the escalators here. We can see here there's a couple of uh, small restaurants and such, or, or rather... Uh, small stands that you can buy some goods for your crossing now as we approach it's actually uh 1 30 in the afternoon here um the next crossing is at 2 30 so we're just going to walk up and you can see here this is where they will check your tickets obviously no one here right now so uh, there are no lines um, i would expect to see some probably in about 20 minutes or so before the ride now it's not as busier time right now so at, at these stations here this is where they would scan your ticket as you walk through and then uh, you'll go down and board the ferry Crazy, I always thought this was a 45 minute crossing or so. Okay, so once you've got off the ferry, uh, typically what they do is they'll unload the, um, the bags from the back over here. You can see here, you have to pick up your luggage, 
then uh, you can uh, walk on down the uh, passenger ferry all the way down here and um, out onto the terminal for Plydo Carmen. Okay. All right, so I just asked this guy if uh, he can actually take my bags to the hotel that I'm staying at, which is actually super close. It's one one block away from uh, from the passenger terminal here. This is all the passengers that are going to board the ferry to go back over to Cozumel. And they're on the, uh, the other side of this uh, pier. So the folks walking towards us are coming from Playa and they're heading towards uh, Cozumel. As you can see here, there's actually a, uh, a walking ramp from the upstairs section. So that's where the passengers will be staging, ready to walk down onto the ferry going over to Cozumel. And you see over here actually, as we're walking through. You can see here, as we're walking through, that uh, Playa del Carmen right now has a massive problem with the sargassum seaweed. So they've got a bunch of floaters out there to try and stop them coming on the beach. Yeah, you can see here the uh, stinky sargassum clinging to the rocks there. They're actually uh, working pretty hard at cleaning this up, but it is incredibly difficult with all of it. And uh, even here, got to make sure that we don't have anything. It's a cute little dog too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So uh, as you exit here, now I've actually tried to uh, look at getting a car from Avis here, even for one day. These guys quoted me over a hundred dollars. So it's kind of crazy. You actually have to, uh, I think, just get away from the terminal first, up into some of the other areas. Sometimes you can get cars maybe for about uh, $50 to $60 a day. Um, some of these ticket touts that are up here. Um, but you just gotta barter them down and make sure that the price includes everything that you have. Okay folks, so as I exit now the uh, ferry terminal here, I'm just gonna spin around. You can see we're gonna take a walk up. Now you have the options again you can spin over to the right here um, and take this walk over to the ADO terminal or if you don't have any luggage you could just make this uh, uh, walk up this hill here and make the right however I would warn you that um, there's some uh, pretty bumpy um, road surface up here where they, they put in some um, decorative blocks on the floor and uh, it'll destroy your wheels on your bag pretty pretty quickly. So we're going to take this route up here. You see this big uh, statue here. So now we're going to make a left. Walk up this little hill, or you can cut through the, the touristy area there. Just walk up to the top. Okay, as soon as you make it to the top of the hill, you're going to make that right. A word of caution, folks. These uh, ATMs, 
they charge you an absolute fortune i know i uh i took out uh maybe a hundred bucks at one point and it only gave you uh us dollars and then it charged me a 20 dollar withdrawal fee so uh try and get your money situation sorted out first so make that right here you'll notice as you make the right still got the uh monument here over there and then uh little church or whatever that is i guess it used to be a church but as we approach here you can see there right in front of us is the ado terminal <laughs> it really couldn't be any easier remember again this is the uh touristica terminal so as you enter the engine uh all the covid mess you do have to go in here and get your temperature taken you can see there ADO terminal touristica so once you go in you can go ahead and uh, get your ticket from that section first off good okay so in here now you can come in and uh, line up here, get your tickets and uh, I'll actually provide some links in a little while for you to find your um, <clears throat> schedule. So when you come into the bus station, there's a whole bunch of uh, buses that line up here and you can see the, uh, the board line up up here. Comes up. So there you can see there's uh, several trips out to Cancun Airport uh, departing at 4 p.m. and another one at 4.45. So basically buy a ticket here and just uh, hop on the bus. They tell you, you assign you a seat number and it's as easy as that. Okay, so we can see on here that we have the ticket purchased. So here it's uh, 216 pesos and they also assign you a seat number and you see here we're uh, all getting ready to get on board the bus this is the one for the uh, Cancun airport yeah they even have a handy little uh, form here but you can see I'm going to terminal 3 which is Delta it's okay Thank you. Thank you. 
and then head on up to the airport. Okay, so here we are, we're about to pull out of the bus station now, it's 7.30 uh, a.m. Pulling out. Okay, so we just arrived here at Terminal 4. Okay, so that doesn't follow too much logic for me. Um, so when the bus arrives, it's actually Terminal 4 first, and then uh, once it gets to Terminal 4, it drops off the passengers there, and then it's Terminal 2. And then after that, it's Terminal 3, and then Terminal 1. So it's 4, 2, 3, 1. So yeah, it's Cuatro, dos, tres, and uno. <laughs> okay, so now we are at uh, Terminal 3. Time now is uh, 8.19, Terminal 3. So, uh, as you can see here, it's uh, pretty nice clean buses. Okay, so once you get off the bus here, you've got to um, exit and uh, make that left off the bus. You're going to go around the corner here. Turn around to the left and you'll see somewhere familiar in a second, which is the Margarita Bar. So this is actually the arrival section. Typically when you arrive as well, you'll remember this from when you first arrived. So you've got the Margaritaville stand there. And as you walk up through, that in front of you is the arrival section. <clears throat> Now we're going to go up through to Terminal 3. Up through here. You can see up in there. So that's it folks okay folks so i was talking about uh, where you can get some money out um when you're in playa so remember that uh, you got the little fountain here right by the uh, shopping mall now as you spin around here see this little ci banco here this is actually a really nice one just walks down careful of the steps and there's a couple of the uh, couple of ATMs in here you walk in and then this ATM in here so that one uh, actually gives you a really nice um, uh, rate when you uh, pull the money out if you're like me banking with uh, some banks like Capital One you can go in and just decline the conversion and just let your bank do the conversion themselves but uh, like I said avoid all of the freestanding ATMs around this area because they will absolutely fleece you for a uh, draw fee.